Hi kids, I'm going to tell you about what happened to Moses after he grew up. Do you remember that when he was just a tiny little boy, his real mother taught him all about the one true God who had a special plan for his life. Even though Moses grew up in the Egyptian palace, he remembered what his mother taught him. He saw how his people, the Hebrews, were suffering as slaves and believed God wanted him to help them. But he didn't wait for God to show him how to help. One day Moses saw an Egyptian beating one of the Hebrews and he decided to help. He killed the Egyptian. That was the wrong way. God's work has to be done God's way. God did not want Moses to murder somebody. Well, when Pharaoh heard about it, he tried to kill Moses. So Moses ran for his life into the desert, through the wilderness, across the rugged mountains, far away. He thought, I blew it. God can never use me now. He lived in the desert as a shepherd with a Midianite family for 40 years, taking care of sheep. And God used that time to teach him patience and humility. One day, God, um, Moses led the sheep to the side of a rocky mountain to graze. Moses looked around and saw in the distance a bush burning. That was not unusual, but this bush kept on burning and did not burn up. How is that possible? Well, Moses climbed up to see the bush more closely, and a voice spoke from the bush, calling his name. Moses answered, I'm here. The voice said, take off your sandals because you're standing on holy ground. Moses took off his sandals. Then the voice introduced himself in the way that Moses would understand. He said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. Moses knew that this was the one true God who had made special promises to his ancestors. But why was God speaking to Moses who had failed him? God continued, I have seen the suffering of my people in Egypt and I have come down to rescue them. Moses was excited. He thought, oh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad God is going to help them. And God said, you must go to Pharaoh and you will bring my people out. Moses gulps. Uh, wait a minute. You want me to go to Pharaoh? That's when Moses started making excuses. When God finally tells him to act, he makes excuses not to do it. The first excuse was, I'm nobody important. I'm not a leader. But God said, I will be with you. I am the one who will rescue them. You just go and speak what I tell you. I promise it'll work. And when you come back to this mountain, you will have all my people with you to worship me. The second excuse. But I can't be your speaker. I won't have answers to their questions. What if they ask me your name? I don't even know your name. And God answered, tell them my name is Yahweh. That means I am. I exist all by myself. I am eternal. I am unchangeable. The Hebrews will believe you, but Pharaoh will not let them go. So I will show all of Egypt that I am all powerful, and then he will let them leave. The third excuse. But what if they don't believe me? God answered, I just told you, Moses, they will believe you. You will have my power. Here's a sign of my power that you can show them. First, throw your staff on the ground. 
and it will become a snake. Pick it back up and it will become a staff again. Here's a second sign. Put your hand inside of your shirt and when you take it out, it will be covered in leprosy. Put it back in again and take it out and it will be healed. And if that's not enough, show them a third sign. Scoop some water up from the river and pour it out on the ground and it will become blood. Moses, you will have my power to work miracles. The fourth excuse. But I'm not a good speaker. I get too scared when I'm in front of a crowd and I can't speak. My knees start shaking and my mind goes blank. And God said, I will put the words in your mouth. You can trust me, Moses, to tell you everything you need to say. The fifth excuse but I don't want to go. Send somebody else. And God answered very sternly, Moses, you will go. And I will send Aaron, your brother, to go with you, to speak for you. But you don't really, really need Aaron. All you need is me. Now take the staff and go. Finally, Moses began the journey back to Egypt. So what can we learn about Moses from at this burning bush? When God tells us to do something, we shouldn't be afraid to do it because remember the answers that God gave Moses? He will go with us. He is Yahweh, the I am who exists forever. He gives us his power to do what he asks. He tells us what to say at the right time. And he provides us with all that we need to do as he asks. All we need to do is obey.